This is your Alaska Link, Alaska's only statewide link to news, weather, and events. Entertainment, sports, health, education, city government. Stay connected with youralaskalink.com. Now reporting from your Alaska Link studios, this is Mike Ford. Senator Mark Bagage spent some time in southwest Alaska today. He was joined by FCC Chairman Julius Janowski. The pair spent the day in Dillingham, marking the progress of a project extending broadband service to the Bristol Bay and yukon Kuskokwim Delta regions. Brittany Auger has more on the story and joins us live now in the studio. Hi, Brittany. Hi, Mike. The project is called Terra Southwest. It's a broadband project implemented by GCI, which aims to bring broadband service to rural Southwest communities that previously depended on spotty dial-up internet connections. Part of the Terra Southwest project be began last winter as cable was installed underground near Leavelock. This summer, cable was laid at the bottom of Cook Inlet between Homer and Williamsport and across Iliamna Bay. Heavy lift helicopters also delivered communication and power modules to several remote mountaintop microwave repeater sites. GCI says the visit by Begic and Janikowski marked the halfway point of the project. A company official says 65 schools and more than 70 village health centers should be receiving the high-speed broadband by the end of the year. The broadband service will then extend to reach 9,000 rural households by the end of next year. GCI says the reliable high-speed internet will allow Alaskans and rural southwest communities to compete in the global marketplace. It's obviously easier to do business when you have a fast pipe to move information for ordering, for making proposals, for doing things like that. And if you have that, it's reliable. There's no latency. You can send a fax without worrying. Then you'll have those opportunities, uh, the level playing field, so to speak. GCI says their long-term goal is to bring high-speed broadband service to rural communities and villages throughout the state, Mike. Now, I imagine a project like this is quite expensive. What were the fun Where's the funding coming from, Brittany? Well, it certainly is expensive, Mike, and the 30,000 residents who will receive the new high-speed broadband will simply not generate enough funds to pay for a system like this. However, GCI says they have seen a lot of support from D.C. with regards to the Terra Southwest project, and that support has come in many forms, including financial. GCI received $88 million in grants and loans from the Federal Stimulus Program, which they say made the Terra Southwest project a reality. All right. Thank you very much, Brittany. That's Brittany Onger reporting live for us tonight.